Yeah. Okay. Hi guys, it's Catalin and Lizzie from How. So, we've got a new workout for you. A lot of you have a roommate, you have a spouse, maybe you have a teenager that you can work out with. So we're going to do a partner workout today, and you need three things. A ball, a band, and a backpack. Alright? So we're going to make a little bit of a, a weight uh, option for you. You're going to take a backpack, you're going to make sure that you tighten your straps down all the way. And if you have to make adjustments, uh, once you get going, go for it. But for right now, make it tight. I suggest starting with books. Now, if you've got a lot of heavy books, kind of like science books from college and so forth, uh, you can use those. I'm using my kids' books. I want to make sure I take my biggest book and I put it in the back of the backpack so that the back of the backpack has some frame to it and that it's flat. If you have dumbbells at home, or believe it or not, you can load it up with cans, okay? Yes, I did say black bean cans, baked bean cans, any kind of cans. You're then going to put it in the backpack. So for right now, I'm just going to put a 15-pound weight in the backpack, all right? I'm going to show you what you're going to be doing with it. For today, we're going to be doing just three movements with the backpack, all right? First of all, you are going to have the option of doing a front squat, and you are going to put the backpack when you are squatting on the front of your body. The board of the, back, of the book is going to be up against your chest, and your squat position will be this way for a little bit of extra weight. All right? Now, we normally don't do flexion movements and deadlift movements in the same day. This workout is going to show you both, and you can choose whether or not you want to do a squat pattern or a hip hinge pattern. Your choice. Options on the deadlift. You can go single arm, same leg, and do your RDL. So once again, strong posture. Or I can grab it by the straps, or I can grab it deeper, depending on your grip strength and do both hands for my single leg REO. These are your choices. So that's movement one, movement two. Movement three is going to be a very, very simple press. I'm going to wrap the back of the backpack straps underneath. I'm going to grip the side of my books so I have a good position in holding on to it. And we are going to do just basic chest presses. Things to remember, if you stacked cans in here for the chest series, you will probably need to reorganize them so the cans are all sitting upright like this and not moving around, okay? So get all your stuff together, grab a soccer ball, a tennis ball, I'm sorry, a volleyball, and uh, we're going to get started next. Okay, what do you think? Great. Did you have to Okay, let's start with our warm up. Hands on our hips to start. We're going to do a scissors and begin. You're on the balls of the feet. Your legs are a little stiffer here, so don't soften up the knees too much. Keep the uh, abs a little bit stronger, so make sure you're starting to turn everything on in your upper body as well. Five more seconds. Time. We're going to move on to a fling. Hands out to the side, crisscrossing. Ready, begin. 15 seconds. Arms are parallel to the ground. Toes are forward, and you want to make sure that your jack isn't too wide. And time. Excellent. Running in place like you have a line. You're going to run right foot over and go. Right, left. And you can pick up the speed. Let your arms go. And we're going to time to the left side. Go. And time. Take a second to stretch those calves. A little good morning. If you can reach forward, reach for the left foot, reach for the right foot. Back to two foot position, heels off the ground. We're going to jump two feet forward and back. And begin. If impact is hard on you, you can also walk in place. 
for the march. And time, excellent. Turning to your left, we're gonna go side to side like you're skiing and begin. And time. Excellent. We're going to do another stretch of the calves. Switch sides. Moving on to a seal jack. Arms are going to be in front. Open and close. Begin. Why do your feet 
three. Make sure you have enough space. We're going to walk out into a plank. We're going to do three of them. You're going to walk out into a plank. You're going to wave at me at the screen with your right. Wave at me with your left. And then walk back up. And begin. Walking out. Wave. Wave. And walk back. That's one. We have two more. Wave at me. Wave. And walk back. That's two. And one more. Walk and wave. Come on back. That's three. Excellent. Get a sip of water and I'll meet you in a seated position. So that was our uh, stationary section for the active dynamic warm up. Let's do our ground activation. We're going to do side lane position, mix it in with a little bit of abs. Okay? The top leg is going to lift 15 times with the toe facing towards the screen. And again, one, two, three, four, keep the leg straight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, one, excellent. Step over with that leg, the bottom leg is going to lift. Now look, I dorsiflex or pull the toe up, which kind of makes my leg hover. Working inner thigh, pulses up and down 15 times and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Side pikes or side crunches, 15 reps. She's going to do the pike, I'm going to do the crunch, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. For our position, we're going to go into a side plank. We're going to hold and stack for 15 seconds. Reach that top arm up. 15 seconds starts now. Just breathe. Lengthen that arm. The hand and wrist are on top of the shoulder. Keep breathing. You're doing great, everyone. Now lift that hip up as high as you can. And release. Slowly come down. Bridges. Toes can be down or heels can be up. Your choice. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, switch to the other side. Top leg, and we get one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Cross that top leg over. Bottom leg is strong and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. Your choice, crunch or pike, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, for our position. Side plank, stack those legs. I'll start the clock as soon as you are settled. Lengthen that arm up and begin. Make sure you have no tension in your neck. You should be able to turn your head side to side. Your traps are not over engaged. Lift that top hip up even more. Keep going. Excellent. Come on down. And we're going to go bridges. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Great. Come on up, you guys. Get a sip of water, and then come on back with your backpack and your ball. Okay, we're back for our makeshift strength training section. All right, so remember how I told you you can either squat today or you can deadlift. We're going to start by demoing the squat, and then when we do the second round, we'll be doing the deadlift, and then you choose what you want to do four rounds up. So that's up to you. All right, so she's uh, going to do the front squat, and we'll go 30 seconds and begin. Notice that as she squats, the weight goes back like she's sitting in a chair. As I do my overhead press, I keep my legs in a stripper position throughout my jet. If this bothers your shoulders, you can change it to an extension in front, like a chest pass. We have five seconds. And time. Make your switch. So if you're working with a partner, you're switching places. If you're working on your own, you're just switching equipment and hanging out by yourself. And you're with us. And with us. And go. 30 seconds. Now, you can do a basic box squat like I'm doing, or change it up now into a sumo squat. Feel free to vary the style of squat that you do. Regardless, your knees stay tracking over your toes, so be careful for things like that. You have a couple seconds and time. Excellent. Now, she's going to do a deadlift. I'm going to do an ab exercise. She's going to do her right leg. I'm going to do a core series. Squeezing the ball between my thighs, I'm going to do a leg lift. You can grip the back any way you want. Ready? Begin. This is the modification with my knee bent. If you want the progression, keep the legs straight and then lift up into that pelvic lift. Keep your eyes 
in front and your neck relaxed. We have about five seconds. All right. All right, you guys, so you're going to repeat that series again, whether it's the squat or the deadlift. So pause it and then come back after getting some water and move on to the upper body portion of this workout. Okay, so we're going to do some upper body conditioning and strength work. Uh, it's not the same as doing your bench and working with the cable, but I'm sure a lot of people are really tired of push-ups right now. We are going to do a press with the book bag. So, remember how I said you had to put the book in the back? And if you have cans in it, you might have to readjust the bag so that the cans are all stacked on top of the book. I'm going to slide myself down. I'm going to bring the ball and put it between my thighs. Okay? I'm going to grip the sides of the book and I'm going to do presses. While I'm doing that, Lizzie is going to do a cable fly with the band. Anchoring it with your rear foot, you can stagger your stance, slightly hinge your upper body forward while keeping good posture, and she's going to fly her hands up to her chin. We're going to go 15 reps and then switch. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Just like if I had a dumbbell, don't drop it and hurt your shoulder, just kind of roll the back to the side. I'm going to rock and roll myself up and do the crisps with my partner. Takes her a little bit more time. If you are working out with someone, I can also just hand her the bag, making sure that the weights don't slide around the outside of the books. Thanks, Kat. You're welcome, partner. <laughs> All right. Anchoring the back foot down, 15 reps, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Great. Let's do another round. So we're doing a, a total of four sets of chest. Okay? You can always do more. Squeezing the ball between my inner thighs helps to keep my pelvic floor uh, working the way it's supposed to. I grip the side of the book, so remember I stack those books in there. And if 15 reps isn't enough, please just do more. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Excellent. So something to keep in mind, with the weights being in the backpack, it actually forces a little bit of stability training. Yep. It's certainly not quite the same as if we were doing it with, um, with a resistible ball or something like that. All right. So hopefully you're already thinking about ways to make your backpack heavy mm -hmm. next time you work out. Ready? And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14 and 15. Great. Get some water or feel free to do another round and then meet us back here with your partner and your band. Let's move on to doing some pull exercises and a little extra core work. 
So if you really don't have a partner, you can certainly anchor the band and make some adjustments to a piece of furniture. But please be very careful that you properly anchor the band so that the band does not snap back into your face, all right? You gotta have a partner that you trust, as usual. I'm gonna wrap the band around your knees, lower back. She is gonna sit and hold a squat, so things that like a wall sit. I'm gonna sit as well. We have to make sure that we practice the appropriate adjustment. I'm just gonna roll for 15 reps. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pull the thumbs to the armpit, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We're gonna change places. We're gonna go on a small angle so you can get a different view of this movement. I'm gonna sit low, kind of in my martial arts stance, and she's gonna grow. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, and five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Let's do another round. Right. I'm gonna change up my row just to give you some variation and I'm just gonna go with a wider grip. All that means is that my palms are gonna go towards the ground. Make sure my partner's ready for my first pull. We're good, ready, and begin. One, notice that my elbows go out and back. Three, four, my shoulders are down. Five, my neck is long. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Lizzie's turn. Right. I'm ready. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Great. One more round. I'm going to give you one more break. Palms up. And I'm going to row this way. So my elbows are going to row the side of my wrist. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So if you're just doing back to back set, then you're going to accomplish six total sets. Okay, once again, make sure you're anchored into something safe. I am ready. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right. Take the legs out. Ooh. Excellent. We're going to move on. Okay, so now she is going to grab the band and hold it in a straight line with two hands. She interclasps her hands and fingers. See how that is? Okay. Then she's going to hold herself in as low of a squat as she feels comfortable. I'm going to get to a point where there's a fair amount of tension on the band, and I'm going to pivot away from her, keeping my arms straight. Here, we have to both make sure we move on to the band. All right? We're going to do 15 reps and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice that I pivot. Seven, eight, nine, ten. My heel lifts up. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. I'm going to stay in place. I am a class. 
Lizzie's going to become more mobile, moving her feet and rotating. I hold a nice steady position. Go ahead, Liz. Alright. One, two. This one puts a little harder three, on the person sitting still. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Excellent. We're going to change places and be going in the other direction. So Lizzie holds this time. I put it in turn. And we can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, ready? I am. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Excellent. All right, we're going to switch again. So, you can repeat that set and come up with a rep count that's going to work for you. 15 reps is kind of easy, but it's really the person holding the band and doing what we call anti-rotation work that has tremendous value. Both exercises are super good for you, don't get me wrong, but holding that position as I'm yanking on the band and her making sure that her arms stay right in front and locking all this position down, kind of like holding a plank, is really where there's a tremendous amount of unique value in this movement, okay? So pause the video, and I'd love to see you do a few more sets or even increase your rep count. There's a ton of different types of partner abs that you can do, certainly just throw the ball, catch the ball. Um, here's a variation of them that we do at POW all the time that we really love because it increases what we call abdominal bracing, uh, and it doesn't really allow the ab to disengage, okay? So let me explain something really quick to you. Let's step back for one second. There's nothing wrong with this exercise. But if I sit up and I throw, I'm kind of disengaged. Nothing wrong with it, but we're going to do something different. I'm going to throw the ball and hold this position, stay engaged, then release, throw the ball, hold, and catch. All right? So, once again, you might find that you fatigue a little bit quicker because your traps are getting overused. You can only do this exercise with the amount of space that you have. All right? And you gotta make sure that you throw the ball at a reasonable amount of intensity so that your partner can um, catch it. And uh, make sure your mom says it's okay because uh, Mrs. Brady said no balls in the house. Ready? And we'll do 10. Four. <laughs>
Thanks.